Hello YouTube, I'm going to be making a video on how to make a bolt action bolt and trigger assembly. So first, here's the trigger assembly. Very simple, it's just two pieces. The trigger piece held by pin and the sear. Now, the sear is shaped this way for a very certain reason, and I'll show you that in a bit. But basically what you'll do is you'll pull the trigger, which will make this rotate up, pushing up on this, which will make that side go down onto the spring, making this go down. Now the reason for that is because it will catch onto this piece. So the two pieces will go together one way, but catch in the other. So here's the sear, and when it moves that way, it will click over this and catch on it. Now, the little stump here is for when it's in the locked and firing position, it will protrude out the edge and show you that it's ready to go. Now, this part screws on, so it's a different section. Well, I don't think it screws on, actually, it just kind of uh, rolls because it does not rotate. You don't want the trigger and the sear and stuff to rotate. But the rest of this does rotate. So you have the spring pushing against the first section onto like a disc, which is connected to the trigger, and it goes all the way through. And uh, that's a solid piece. And then here's a solid block that you can move through this space here and that connects to the firing pin. Now the reason for this block is so that when you open the bolt it will look like that and uh, then it won't pass through here and it can't fire so it's just a safety measure after you have the bolt up and it won't fire even if you pull the trigger. And then for the bolt face right here there are three components. There's the ejector claw type thing the ejecting rod, and the firing pin. Now the reason for the ring here is just to kind of keep the round in place so when it chambers it doesn't move around at all. So basically what happens is this holds on to the edge of the cartridge. I'll just show you a shotgun shell here. Like the little rim. What it will do is it is kind of shaped like that. Except it's shaped like this. So that way, the bullet is able to slide through it and then catch. And um, the back of the catch thingy, sorry, I'm not really good with names, there's a spring like that so it can go up and catch it better. So um, when the bolt goes back, you know, like you throw it back to eject around. This thing is still holding on to it, but it gets kicked out by that. So what it basically does is um, it sits inside the bolt like this. Like there's the ejector rod. And it gets revealed through the face after you pull it back and it kicks out the round. So basically it's just holding on to it until it hits something and just knocks it out. And then there's your bolt. All I have to do is attach a handle. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys.